What we want to offer is uh, a little trip to France. You know, people can escape the country without actually leaving the country. So they come here, they are talked to in French, you know, they just, it's a little game we have. It seems like, you know, it's working well. People love it. The addition to the restaurant here is we've got a great antique center next door. It's just because it's such a huge shop, there is 40 different rooms, so people can't go there and just spend 10 minutes and see everything what's around. So if they come here, have their coffee, go there, have a look, come back for lunch, get some wine, easier for them to buy anyway. <laughs> we and don't get a commission by the <laughs> way. You know? that, that little extra service of welcoming of atmosphere, that's what people remember more than the food itself. 15th of November uh, 2017. We had a call from the alarm people. The alarm here went off. When we arrived at the end of the road, when we arrived there, we could see the flame from the opposite side of the road. We're like, what's going on? The fire brigade arrived just a couple of minutes later. They did a really, really good job because the building could have gone completely. And you can't do anything because we couldn't get into the building. We had to stay just looking at it for a while. So whenever the fire brigade said, you can come have a look, we thought the kitchen was saved. Because the fire started so, next to the kitchen. So we, so we, we saw, had a hope, maybe. You know, and when we got inside the kitchen and see the disaster, we were like... Yeah, it was all burned down, so... Yeah, we said, okay, well, we've got, to, we've got to deal with it now. What can we do to be back up and running as soon as possible? Being that close to Christmas, uh, I wanted to honor our booking, of course. You know, I couldn't let people down. The fire happened on a Wednesday morning. On Saturday morning, I said, I need to find a solution. So I started uh, Googling, and I said, no one's going to answer the phone on a Saturday morning at 8.30 in the morning. And funny enough, someone picked up the phone. She told me there's no commercial in this weekend, Monday morning, first thing we give you a call. Ten minutes later, I received a call from a commercial who told me, okay, what sort of uh, equipment do you need so we, we can actually start working on it on a Monday morning I send you a quote. I received a quote on Monday morning, we agreed on everything and a professional mobile kitchen is just there. So no, it was it was uh, it was really impressive. I mean, it's it's nice to see that you still have some people who actually care about what they do, and they're still being professional. With the help of everyone, we managed to to you know a couple of weeks later to reopen, which was not even imaginable at the beginning. And I don't have any shares in your business at all. <laughs> I'm just being honest, but I think it's important to actually mention it, and I did mention it to you know your team. That was really impressive. So, yeah, thank you very much.